Just a few weeks ago, we added preset sharing to Darkroom, one of our most requested features ever. But we're following it up with another popular feature request, dramatic improvements to highlight and shadow recovery. It took us a while to get here, but I promise the results will have been worth the wait. Let me jump right in and show you what's new. We'll start with the raw photo, which is where you're gonna see the biggest impact. In this typical example, I exposed for the highlights so I can see the details in the clouds, but it left the shadows really dark. In previous versions of Darkroom, you just kind of knew to avoid the situation because you wouldn't be able to recover the details very well. Now, when I increase shadows in the new Darkroom, you see that the dark areas become bright and the image comes to life. These improvements are also very powerful for JPEGs. Here's a scene I recently captured on iPhone 14 Pro, and you'll notice that even though this is a JPEG with compression artifacts, the amount of detail we're able to recover is significant. Now, let's take a look at a few examples comparing highlights and shadows in the new darkroom to some other popular iPhone photo editing apps. We'll start with the Photos app. With the shadows up all the way, Photos still struggles to bring back the darkest details, and you can see some artifacts around the windows and some haloing around the building. Here's Visco's shadow recovery. You'll note that it, too, really struggles to pull back much detail compared to Darkroom. When designing and tuning these algorithms, we had two primary goals that you should be aware of. First, we designed it to avoid the HDR effect that you can get if the midtone contrast recovery is too intense in order to keep the image looking natural. If you want that look, you can add clarity to compensate. Second, we try to maintain the dynamic range of the photo. So if you pull up shadows, we try to keep the deep blacks close to black. If you want to pull up those areas more, you can always use the black slider. The result is highlight and shadow recovery that puts Darkroom on par with the most professional of photo editors. We're really proud of what we were able to achieve with this update. And as always, it's packed with other bug fixes and performance improvements. If you want to read more about the changes, head on over to our website and you can read all about it. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you.